Um, good morning, everybody. I am um, I'm actually Alfie Hobbs. Um, I'm the head of upper school at Pacific Ridge School. Um, and I just want to say thank you to the Chamber of Commerce. Thank you to um, our local schools. And thank you to the students <laughs> for allowing us to have this opportunity to recognize um, such wonderful um, students who I'm sure will impact our futures. Um, at Pacific Ridge School, we like to say and anticipate that our students kind of grow into, um, you know, some of these portraits of students that we probably all have at our schools and um, have certain characteristics and experiences that we have had a hand in molding. Um, with hope, I can honestly say that our school has had to grow, learn, and change because of her. Um, we've had to change to match her expectations, her vision, her work, and um, just our heart. Hope is a student that has taken advantage of all that our school has had to offer academically. Um, she's taken the most challenging courses and succeeded with them in what seems like flawless effort. Um, she is a strong advocate for mental health and wellness uh, within the Pacific Ridge community, building education and support for all. She shows compassion and empathy and fights for those who are underrepresented or marginalized. Hope is a student and a leader, and Pacific Ridge School is proud to have had the opportunity um, to experience all that she's had to give our school, and uh, we are definitely proud and honored to call her our rising star for this month. Hello everyone, my name is Hope Hansen. I am a senior at Pacific Ridge School and I do not know where I'm going to go to college, but I plan on studying something with maybe environmental studies or like critical ecology, something in that realm. Um, and I brought with me Mr. Feeden, shout out. Um, <laughs> he's my ninth grade history teacher and is now my senior year history teacher for theories of social change. And he is also the faculty advisor for two groups that I lead on campus, anti-racist group and creative writing club. Um, so yeah, I, 2022 was not my year, like, it was, it was rough. I got my fourth concussion and I'm still dealing with the, um, repercussions of that with post-concussive syndrome. Had lots of family issues, you know, abusive mom, fun stuff. Um, so long story short, 2022 had many setbacks for me, but I wouldn't be who I am today without those experiences, which leads me to me finding my passion for advocacy which presents itself in different ways, but I'm going to talk about the service group that I lead and founded my freshman year, Awareness and Mental Health Education. Um, so originally we had two members and now we have grown and we have an Instagram that's thriving so we can spread awareness and we host wellness activities and we've brought service dogs to campus multiple times and I'm very excited about this. We were recently granted a $1,000 grant from Philanthropist to help us with our work as well as $5,000 from Active Minds, which is a mental health organization, um, for us to bring a speaker to campus. Um, so I wasn't sure that I was going to make it 2022, to be frank. But I'm glad I'm here because I feel like everything is sort of coming together and the perseverance through the adversity kind of paid off. Um, thus, through these experiences, the importance of advocacy for myself, others, and greater systemic change, has proven to be woven throughout my guiding principles and how I live my life. Um, and I will continue to use my voice to advocate for others and help others feel represented and seen. And I just wanted to say thank you to the sponsors and the chamber board and just for this opportunity. Very, very honored to be here. And thank you to Mr. Peden and Mr. Hobbs for always helping me in doing what I love to do. Thank you. Hi, I'm Preston Peden. So as Hope mentioned, I have been lucky enough to teach her twice. Uh, at the beginning of her high school career as a freshman, in a first period ancient world history class, everyone's most exciting moment of the day. And now in a history elective about social movements, both in the past, the present, and the future. And I'm gonna brag on you for a second. Uh, the, the growth that Hope has shown as a speaker, as a as a leader on this campus, in our campus, is tremendous. And I see a lot of freshmen experience school passively. 
It's, it's part of what school is. You, you, you go to learn. And I've watched Hope become someone who, as Mr. Hobbs said, changes our school. Be it in how we talk about what we teach, what we teach, the narratives, the authorship, the genres, who is seen and who is not. And I have worked with Hope in two classes and two groups. And her consistent and constant love for others on our campus is incredible. And so in this moment, I, when I look at what this mission statement is, I think of Hope, even before knowing she was nominated. And so with that, I thank her, because I know that next year and the year after and the year after that, our community will be better because of Hope Hansen. So thank you. It's really nice meeting all of you. Great seeing familiar faces as well. Now is the time where we like to wrap it up have a personal ask. Part of the reason that we put this on is we find these talented youth and we ask you to come back to Carlsbad. As members of the business community where we're involved in developing leaders and workforce, we see you as people that we want in our environment. So we do ask you to come back. I've written some notes about each of you that stood out to me uh, that I'd like to share with everyone. Hope, all right. Grow, learn, change at the school level. That's really what we look all for. Systematic change, your consistent love for others. Through setbacks, you've been able to be an advocate for others and give them the care and foster service groups that allow others to then come behind you. So congratulations and thank you.